everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Life of D5 Family, and today I'm going to be doing a voiceover of Sarah doing her makeup. So let's see how this goes. First things first, she starts out with this ball looking thing, like a crystal ball, clear ball. I don't know what to call it, Christmas ornament thing. And I think it's a type of lotion. She's rubbing it on her face. She's making sure to get in every crease and every wrinkle, every pore. And I just, I just think it's a more moisturizer. And now she's fanning it out. Wonder why. Super light. So now she's adding another type of lotion or moisturizer. I think this is moisturizer 2.0, I believe. This time she's just rubbing a little bit on her face. Again, just rubbing it, dabbing it. She's just trying to get in everything. She's just trying to just, you know, maybe like a Botox or something. or Not a Botox, but just straightens your skin out and makes it more healthier and shinier. I don't know. Now she has what it seems to be like a pencil. This might be a mascara, isn't it? I don't know what it is. It's like a little color pencil. Oh, no, never mind. She's uh, not, uh, a little itch on her nose there. Um, probably nose, nose hairs are probably long because <laughs> I get that a lot too. Uh, anyways, so it looks like she's going to be reshaping her eyebrows and filling them in to make them fuller. I think I'm right about this one. Um, she's making them a little bit longer, making them fuller, black, make them stand out a little bit more. Just don't do it too much, baby, because they'll be looking like Nike signs. And as she's doing this, she's just doing this really nice and steady. She's keeping a straight line, edging them well. Man, this is this is literally just like an artwork. You know, I don't think I'd be able to do this. I look like a damn clown if I was able to do my makeup. But she's doing such a great job. You, you ladies, I applaud too because, I mean, look at that. That's just perfect. She's just lining it up. She's making, you know, make, making it look like she actually has an eyebrow. Um... But yeah, I guess that's that's what you guys do. And that's cool. Let's see. Let's see if she gets into anything else right now. But as right now, she's just shaping her eyebrow. Okay, oh, she's done. Now she's coming out with this yellow stuff and a little tiny brush. Man, this is literally like doing like a painting or something. Like this is this is just like art. And now she's just going around her eyebrows, the part that she just filled in and straightened out. I think she's just trying to get any little you know, any little crease or any little detail just to get that, that, uh, what's it called? That color in there. Um, she does it so, you know, she does it so like well and steady. Look at her. Uh, yeah. Uh, she's just, you know, filling in her eyebrows. Uh, it's just something to just make her eyebrows pop out more, I think. And she's going in and rubbing it in and she's taking her teeth, make sure she has no broccoli because... Oh, she probably didn't brush her teeth. Cochina. And now she's coming in with another type of color, like like a gold paste, filling in her eyelid up to her, you know, to the bottom of her eyebrow. I think that's just called an eyelid. And now she has another crown or pencil or color pencil. Now she'll be, oh, oh, this is some type of powder stuff going into a bowl. This is something new. I've never seen this. Now she's showing us, and she's getting her little... What are these brushes called? I know you guys have a name for all these. I mean, I've... You guys, she has about, like, 50 of them right here, and, and for each one of them, there's a purpose. I don't know what the heck. Oh, she's grabbing her color palette. She's going to be choosing, uh, like, a reddish color, or maybe, like, a rustic color. And she's just applying it to her eyelid. And she's smoothing it out, and... Okay, that gave, that gave, that gave her a good little good color all right now she's oh now she's putting mascara i know that was i know that's part of the eyelids i know that goes to the eyelid now she's drying her face again making sure that mascara dries up and here comes the the uh what's it called eyelash extensions that is crazy those things are long you're telling me that that you're telling me that that's why your eyelashes are longer the whole time i thought they were longer naturally God dang, they look like some butterfly wings. Just don't go outside, you might fly away. Now she's applying a thing with her sp with the spongy look. Um, Looks like a sponge. She's applying what? I think this is the main color of her face. 
I think this is called the foundation, I believe. I might know just a little bit. I don't know. I could be wrong. There she goes again. And now she's using another type of um, color, another type of paste. And I think this is what, you know, when she starts rubbing it, I think it just makes her face more, how do you say it, stand out, more glowy. Looking like a dang golden nugget you find in the dirt or something. Now she's coming out with another palette of makeup and another brush, of course. I just know there's like contour brush, toothbrush, foundation brush. I don't know too much about these brushes. So make sure you guys go on in the comments and please let me know what these brushes, the name of these brushes and the purpose of it because I don't get it. And now she's applying something else, making herself look like, you know, the little beans in an Avatar movie. So it kind of reminds me of. Oh, this is the give her that chin look. Make her her nose pop out more like Pinocchio. Uh, give her the, that cheekbone and, and a bigger, not a bigger forehead, but I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's, it's, this is too much for me. I, I don't know anything about makeup. I do my best, but like I said, it's my first time. It's my voice. Oh, this is my voice. Oh, oh, she's, look at her. She's just gorgeous. She's beautiful. She's fabulous. And here comes brush number 49. And this must be, what is this? Another color she's putting on her cheekbones. Giving her that cheekbone extension. And now, she, uh, now it looks like she's using a sponge to just smear. And uh, now she's using some type of liquid to spray on her face. Might be some plasterizer. And again, for the fourth time, using her fan. <clears throat> and now she's using a brush. Looks kind of like the end of an ostrich's tail. But it seems to be this is number 51 brushes. And again, she's using the sponge. Now she's using a little, another type of brush. Can't barely see the end of that tip. That's what she said. Um, <clears throat> anyways, now she's uh, filling in something into her eyelids and she's smoothing something out. Again, using the sponge. Now she has another type of container. Looks like this is mascara, I don't know, 2.0 as well. Now she'll be applying some type of other type of liquid. And I'm guessing this is just to keep her eyebrows in place and not fly out everywhere when she gets... You know, when she goes outside or hits the wind. And now she's fanning out again. Mac. I don't know what she said there, but it's his, like, work or something. And now she's putting lipstick on. It's a really nice color, baby. Good job. I like that. And so, yeah, now she's rubbing it in and you know, just filling it in. Little final touches. And there we go, people. That's the end of everything. This is the result. Beautiful. Guys, go like and subscribe. Till next time.